Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be memory work ideas for CC Cycle 2 and Week 5. And this week I'm also going to include some ideas that you could include at your home during this week of resources, things to watch, things to read, things to do that will enhance this week of learning for CC Week 5. So I'll include that at the end of this video. And I'll try to start including that for the remaining videos through week 24 for uh, this cycle too. All right, so for memory work, we are gonna start with math. And for math, we are skip counting the nines and the tens. And so for the nines, we sing this to this tune of Do Lord. And in class, what we'll do is we will start out kind of like doing the volcano, okay? So we're gonna start out laying down on the ground. We'll sing through the nines once that way. Then we'll sit up sing through the nines, then we'll get on our knees, sing through the nines, and we'll get higher and higher as we go. So we'll go to standing, reaching, tiptoes, maybe jumping, and that's how we're gonna skip count the nines. For the tens, we are gonna give high tens because we're counting by tens. So we will just stand across from each other, and each, each person will have a partner, and we'll do high tens as we sing 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's how we're gonna do the nines and the tens this week. For English, we are learning the objective pronouns. Last week, we learned the nominative pronouns. This week, we move on to objective and uh, we're gonna sing it. We're gonna continue the tune that we started of the chicken dance. So we have nominative pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, and then this week, we're moving on from that to objective pronouns. Objective pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. And that's how we will continue our tune, singing all of the pronouns through week 10, I think. Don't quote me on that, but all of the pronouns for the next few weeks uh, to that same tune. And then by the end of those few weeks, we'll have it all together and you know all the pronouns. So it's it's pretty fun to just put it all to one tune for our family. That just makes it so much more simple and fun and um, keeps it all together in one place in our mind. Okay, for history, we have, tell me about the Hundred Years War. Okay, so for this one, we do have a little bit of fun. In the past, I have brought in... Um, things to dress up in. I brought in little flies and little rats and skeletons. So if you want to go that far, uh, you could act it out with your students and bring in fun things like that to act it out. This year, I don't think we're going to do the flies and the skeletons. Um, you could. I mean, these are the things that, we, that I had. And I just found these kind of things at the dollar store. But you have people and then you have we use these little critters for fleas and those are all things that you could use to just demonstrate some of the things that you're saying in the song because we refer to fleas on rats and how they carried the plague which did sadly kill one out of three Europeans and so that is all the things some of the things that happened during the hundred years war so this year though I happen to have this little dress up set that we're gonna use as Joan of Arc. And so we're gonna, um, I'll stand there and we'll pose and dress up as Joan of Arc. And then we will probably, as I'm wearing this and the helmet, uh, I will flip through pictures that kind of tell this history story as we sing it with the tune that CC provides. So that's probably what we'll do this year. Um, you can do a mix and match of that, you could, just do the pictures that tell the story, but we are going to use some props and kind of act it out that way. A lot of acting so far this year because we're telling a lot of big stories about things that happened. And so that is history. I hope, I hope that makes sense. That seemed like a lot, but that's what we're going to do for that. For the uh, pictures that I referred to, you can download those off of CC Connected. I'll see if I can find the one that I have and link it. And um, if I can, it'll be in the description. Okay, for Latin, we are moving on from the present tense to future tense of our first conjugation endings. And so we, the, the tune 
goes to the tune of Three Blind Mice. Uh, but the first sound that we make is bow. And so we're gonna bring in a bow this week and we're gonna stand in a line. I'll have our whole class stand in a line or even at home. And what I'm gonna say is, when it starts at the beginning of the line, the bow is there. But in the future, we're gonna pass that bow down the line to me and I'll be wearing a bun, which the last sound that we make for this future tense is bunt. So in the future, the bow will be on my bun like bunt. And so we'll pass it down the line as we sing bo bis bit bimis bitis bunt and um, it'll come to me with my bun on my head. So um, kind of cheesy but kind of fun. It just gives the idea that the future is the future tense so the bow is moving from one place to the next and in the future it's coming to be a bow on my bun. Uh, you could use a parent to do that, or you could just bring in a bow and pass a bow around. Last year, I or last time we did this cycle, I actually had a little bunny, and we talked about um, the song, Do Your Ears Hang Low? Do You Tie Them in a Bow? And uh, I don't have that bunny unpacked yet, and so we're going to simplify it a little bit and do it this way. So, lots of different options of how you could do that, but that will be our first conjugation endings. Um, to the tune of Three Blind Mice, Bo Bis Bit, Bemis Bitis Bunt. All right, that is Latin. For timeline, some of you have mentioned that you miss seeing the hand motions on my videos, and so today I'm going to go ahead and show you what they are. So the first one is Judah. We're going to do a J. Judah falls to Babylon. For Babylon, we do this as uh, the letter of the law. That represents Babylon. And then we have temple, T for temple. Church is founded on the rock. So we have temple, we show the temple, and then we show it destroyed. So you, you ball it up and let it go. So temple destroyed. Then we have Babylon falls to Persia. We make a P, make sure that face is down. So Babylon falls to Persia. Then we have the Jews return and rebuild the temple. So this is the sign for rebuilding, and uh, again, the same sign for a temple. Then we have the Roman Republic, so we have two R's, Roman Republic, and the Golden Age of Greece. So we're going to do the sign for gold, which is like you're pointing to a golden earring in your ear, and so you point to that, and then you do a Y for yellow coming down, like it's a golden yellow earring. So Golden Age of Greece, then we have the Peloponnesian War, so for that we're going to do a G, like we are, uh, and we're going to put it here, like the part that protects your nose on a lot of the Greek helmets that they wore in battle. So we're going to do the Peloponnesian Wars. This is the sign for wars going back and forth in battle. And then the last one is Persia. So P again, Persia falls to Alexander. This is in ASLA, the Great. And for great, we just raise our hands like this, like it's great. And that is timeline. Uh, I hope that's helpful. We will start out by introducing the timeline cards, showing the pictures, and then we'll explain the motions, and then we'll go through all of those motions together as a class several times with the music and singing it together. So um, that's timeline. For geography, we have European cities. So. For the European countries, we sang it to the tune of London Bridges, and since we're moving on to those same cities and some of those same places, I just thought it fitting to keep the same tune. And so we will learn about where London, Paris, Rome, Barcelona, and Orleans is. And so we are going to do a similar tone using London Bridges so that as we sing it as a family, we could do that whole part of Europe to the same tune. So this week it would be London in England, Paris and Orleans in France, Rome in Italy and Barcelona in Spain. So same tune, London Bridges. If you don't want to say it with the countries that those cities are in, you could just do London, Paris, Orleans, Rome, Barcelona. And that would be another simple way to do it. So that is what we will do for geography. For science, 
we have what are some cycles in nature. And so for that, we have the water cycle, the carbon and oxygen cycle, and the nitrogen cycle. We are just going to do simple ASL motions for these letters that represent W for water. So we'll do the water cycle. We're doing a motion of going in a cycle, right? Then we have the carbon and oxygen cycle. Okay, so you have your C and your O. And then you have, if you wanted to do like not a C, you could even just do like you have a plant, you know, coming out of the ground. Um, but yeah, carbon and oxygen cycle. And then you have the nitrogen cycle. And for that, we're just going to make an N. So that's two fingers over your thumb and you move that like a cycle. So we have the water cycle, the carbon and oxygen cycle, and the nitrogen cycle. And we're just going to go over that just like that. All right, for review this week, uh, we are probably going to use so our, our review game plates that have all the subjects written down on them. And we'll put all these plates on the ground in front of us or on the table. And we will use our little frog hoppers to hop onto those plates. And whatever subject we land on, that will be the subject that we review. So um, we'll take our frog hoppers. These are the ones that you just, when you press on the back of it, it hops. So we'll just do those. And um, that's how we're going to do review. All right. And as mentioned at the beginning of this video, I wanted to share some of the things that we'll probably incorporate into our homeschooling this week to cover all of our memory work and the things that we're learning with CC. So first off, each week at home, I like to include a devotion when we do our morning basket. So we start with a devotion from Indescribable. So if you have this devotion, this week, pages 188, 44, and 58 all apply to things that we're learning this week. Then we'll do a few read-alouds since we're talking about Joan of Arc and our history statement could always read this week the Who Was book for Joan of Arc. Or for picture books, you could do Joan of Arc, A Heroine of France. Uh, I think Joan of Arc by the author Corey. And then also in Old World Echoes, you have more read-alouds that you could do. And this week it would be pages 71 and 81. And those are two stories. One is a Scottish ballad. Um, called Tamlane, and then uh, the next one is also a few page stories called The Britomart and The Magic Mirror. So those are several read-alouds and different things that you could read during your morning time or homeschool time together as a family. As usual, we will definitely use our timeline cards throughout the week. Uh, usually we pick one or two a day to look at and read the back we will do that for this week's timeline cards as well. That will give us a start to our history lessons. And as we need to, we'll use a world atlas or an illustrated encyclopedia as we're looking up things and finding things of interest. A couple things that you could watch this week are Magic School Bus. YouTube or Netflix has a lot of those series. This week, we have season two, episode six from the Magic School Bus and it's called Wet All Over, so that might be a good thing to watch. And then a couple things on YouTube, Sid the Science Kid, Where Did the Water Go, Clean Air. For that YouTube channel, it's season two, episode 48 or, and 47. So that's Sid the Science Kid. And then of course, Bill Nye, the science guy. Um, he has got two videos that would actually be really applicable to this week. The Water Cycle is one of them, and then Joan of Arc and the Hundred Years War. And so those you could find at the library probably, maybe on YouTube, I have not tried that yet. And then if you are a family that does weekly movies, this week it might be fun to watch Prince and the Pauper. That is about the Hundred Years War. Uh, or for older kids, maybe Joan of Arc, God's Warrior. Uh, so those are two movie suggestions. And I got these movie suggestions from an awesome, awesome Cycle 2 resource that I will link in the description below with all kinds of movies that are applicable to Cycle 2 for each week. And uh, sometimes finding a movie for family night that is appropriate or just a value add to what we're learning, 
that can kind of be a, a, a challenging task at times. So I'm not endorsing any of these movies per se. You have to choose for your family what fits for you, but it does give a good starting point of things that are related to what we're learning each week. So I will have that linked below because it's such a fantastic resource. That is what how we're going to be covering this week. Uh, one other fun thing that we're going to do this week is, since we're learning about European cities, we'll take a day and have a European snack of brie and baguettes. That was an idea I got from an upload from the old CC. Unfortunately, I don't think it's been brought over yet, so I don't have a way of sharing it, but it was ideas of eating your geography and your science and your history. And so it's eating things from around the world that apply to what we're learning each week. So that is what we'll be trying this week. So anyway, those are some fun ideas. I hope that you find them helpful. And if you have any questions, as usual, let me know. I'm happy to help if I can. And I look forward to seeing you next week for week six. Bye.